Hey, what is going on guys? Father Gamer here and welcome back to some more Blade and Sorcery. Today we're going to be looking at 5 new mods for the game, but before I do, I would like to say sorry for not posting in a little while, I have been quite busy with my personal life and game development activities. And now that I have you here, I would like to thank all of you for helping me reach 4,000 subscribers on the channel. The love and support you guys have shown has absolutely blown me away, so thank you for that. And with that out of the way, what do you say we go check out these mods? Okay, so the first spell we're looking at today is the Assassin's Poison spell for U10. Now this spell comes with two different variations that you can use, and has multiple ways that you can use it against the enemy. Let's go try these out right now. Okay, so the first version of this spell is the Toxic Poison spell, which as you can see is green, and when we use this on the enemies, what it will do is slow them down and cause damage to them over time. As you can see, this is represented by the fact that they've turned green. However, if you merge the spell together and activate it, you'll get the Paralyzing Poison spell. Now this will make them fall to the floor and drop their weapons, and they'll stay there for about 15 seconds, allowing you to take complete control of the situation. <laughs> oh, hello. You sneak up on me. Whoa. Dead. Okay, let's try paralyzing you. She should be there for about 15 seconds now. And yeah, that works quite well. She ain't getting up. Ever. So as well as throwing this spell like a fireball, you can also imbue your weapons with it. I actually love the shade of green at this turn. And of course, with your weapon imbued, it will poison your foes on contact. <laughs> that was actually pretty nice. I love the colour and texture on the sword as well. Ooh. Got a double dose there. Hiya! Oh, she proper deflected that. That was almost. That could have poisoned me. I wonder if that's a thing. I wonder if I could poison myself. There is also another way to use this spell, and that is to imbue your staff weapon with it. And as you can imagine, once activated, it's going to poison everybody in a radius. Now, I don't have that many people here to show you, because I killed them all. But you get the idea. It works. And uh, she just bit the dust, unfortunately. But uh, you're still standing, not for long. But that definitely wraps it up for the first spell, guys. I think we should uh, go and check out the next one. So the next spell mod we're taking a look at today is the Killer Queen Explosion spell. Now this spell allows you to touch or grab any object and then form a detonator in your hand, allowing you to trigger and blow it up like a normal bomb. Why don't we go check this out now? So with the spell selected, all you have to do is touch or grab the enemy that you want to blow up. Then by holding the grip button and pressing the trigger, you form the detonator. <laughs> then you can blow them up by pressing the spell button. Okay, that was pretty brutal. I want to try that again. Let's just uh, slow motion a second. And then we're going to grab hold of you. Then we'll just throw you into him. And we're going to blow you up. Boom. <laughs> That's really cool. And not only does it work on people, but as far as I know, it also works on anything that you grab. So that could be objects or even the environment. Let's try out the barricade. All right, and let's get a bit of distance. And yes, <laughs> absolutely worked. And it's completely gone. That's really cool. I've never seen that before. Okay, I want to try it again now. We're going to grab hold of you. Come on, gather around, guys. Gather around, gather around. <laughs> okay, you can have a lot of fun with this. A lot of fun with this. Ooh. Nut shot. Man. <laughs> He's like, man, you could just blow me up. You didn't have to do me dirty like that. I definitely think you guys should check this mod out for yourself. We're just going to gather these guys in here for one final blast. You'll be the target. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's check out the next mod. So the next spell mod we're looking at today is one that I've shown on the channel before but haven't yet tried for U10 and that is the Needle Storm spell which allows you to spray ridiculous amounts of projectile needles from your hands. Let's go take a look. Okay, so take my advice with this spell, you really do not want to aim it at yourself so make sure when you fire it you're hitting the enemy. <laughs> oh my god, as you can see it causes a lot of damage quite quickly. And quite surprisingly enough, it doesn't cause that much lag like you'd expect. Let's put this in slow motion just so you can see the extent of damage that we are doing here. 
and just how many projectiles we are firing into this woman. <laughs> oh my god. And you, sir? Just look at that spray. <laughs> oh, I love watching this in slow motion. Oh, it's really good. And it's just as deadly at long range as it is at short range. I'm not quite sure how far it travels, actually. I haven't tested that out. It's pretty far. I don't even need this sword. <laughs> you just waste everyone instantly with this spell. He's like, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> I got you, bro. Ooh, a little chest poke. Hello? He's dead. It literally just kills them before they can even react. I, I'm a big fan of this spell. And you can also configure the settings for this mod as well. Like, you can change the speed of the projectiles. But anyway, you check it out for yourself, guys. This is definitely a really cool mod. But for now, I think we should go take a look at the next one. So the next spell mod we're looking at today is the Magical Ward for U10. This is a simple shield spell for those who like to use magic, but don't want to sacrifice the physical fight inside of the game. Let's go check them out now. Okay, let's see what these bad boys can do. They're supposed to be able to stop all incoming attacks. That be weapons or arrows or magic like fireballs, lightning. It's supposed to work on everything. Uh, are you going to attack? Here we go. Boom. And I really love that little magical effect it has every time you have an impact. Uh, it ripples through the shield. That's really nice. I love that effect. Hooah! Just pop a stab him one. I enjoy mods like this which add something extra to the game but still allow you to f use its core features, you know, such as stabbing people with a sword. <laughs> That's really what Blade and Sorcery is all about for me. I like the sword fighting. But having a magical shield is, is totally cool with me. <laughs> I just literally slashed his throat out. Alright, so we know this works against you guys, but I really want to get some archers in here so we can try it out with some arrows. Yeah, hold on a second. Here we go. I've got an archer in now. It's going to fire. Yes, and it worked. It literally bounced right off our shields. I just had to make sure that worked. Ooh, nice try. The only thing that it's missing is shield bash. I would really enjoy being able to pulverize my enemies with that. Okay, and that was a successful test against fireballs. There's a lot of you here, isn't there, right now? It's because we were just playing defensive. Let's deal with that. <laughs> oh, nice try. See, again, it just pushes them out of the way a little bit. I wish I could just knock them over. But you can't have everything your own way. It's still pretty cool. What do you say we go check out the next mod? The final spell mod we're looking at today is called Dissonance. Now this mod is supposed to slowly remove all danger from the game and make you OP as hell. Why don't we go try it out now? Okay, so let's just see what happens here. No way, that fireball has actually stopped. She can't hit me with them. What if I get closer? Ooh, just bounce back on her. Hello there, can she hurt me? No. She doesn't seem to be hurting me either. So I'm just trying to figure out what's happening here with this mod because all I know is it's supposed to slowly remove danger from the game and make you highly OP. And that's all the real details that it gives you. Like, these guys can't seem to hit me with any of their spells. I seem to be killing them quite easily and they don't seem to be able to hurt me that much. That's pretty much what I've been able to figure out so far. It's also supposed to allow you to freeze time, but I'm just not sure how to do that or activate it, or if it's just something that slowly activates over time. But I'm sure I would figure it out after playing with it for a little bit longer. It's also fully customizable if you have the sectary mod. It's a very mysterious mod, but it's definitely working and I'm definitely overpowered. And I would say these guys would probably agree. <laughs> Look at the state of you. <laughs> hey, where'd you go? Hey, whoa, whoa, come here. Where did you go? Okay, that was weird. Someone needs to pay. You can pay. Whoa, I just lodged that in the back of your neck. <laughs> when did suddenly Blade Source we get so brutal? It must be the sectary mod. That wasn't part of the showcase today, but I'm using that, so there you go. Six mods to use in today's showcase. <laughs> just lopped off her hand. <laughs> I just had to put her out of misery. Oh man, this axe is pretty brutal. 
Okay, he's chickened out behind there. And that's it, guys. Dissonance mod. It's pretty cool. You should definitely go and check it out for yourselves. And I think we're going to leave it here for today. Okay, that is all I've got time for today, guys. But if you like any of the mods you've seen, you can find the link from down below. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, you can let me know by smashing that thumbs up button. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribing for more Blade and Sorcery. I'm Father Gamer. Bye for now.